What's up everyone? It is Rob DeBorn. I'm going to just start firing off some videos and post these to YouTube. I'm not a medical practitioner. I'm not an expert. I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a nutritionist. I don't have any letters behind my name. I'm just a simple guy that has created a bunch of experience personally and through probably hundreds of other people identified what the results are, what the common denominators are, and then present and try to share, help, teach, coach, and educate people with that information. With that said, these questions deal with exogenous ketone supplementation. Exo, outside the body, ketone supplementation. Putting a caloric value of ketones in your body. No different than putting a caloric value of protein, caloric value of carb, caloric value of fat, because the question I get often from the gurus, the experts, people that are misinformed, misunderstood about how this really works is if I'm using ketones, won't that slow down the rate of lipolysis? Won't it make my body store glucose, store the carbs that I ate? And the answer is technically yes. However, let me flip the question back on you. Won't a slice of bacon slow down the rate of lipolysis? Won't that slice of bacon force your carbs to be stored? What about an avocado? In fact, just a third of an avocado. What about 14 almonds? What about a sweet potato, just a bite and a half? What about an egg yolk, not even a whole egg? All of these things will also slow down the rate of lipolysis. And let's assume, based on those examples I just gave, that the caloric energy value coming in, because at the end of the day, weight loss or weight gain is all based on the energy balance equation, energy in versus energy out, creating a surplus, which means a gain, or a deficit, which means a loss. My case is made that ketones, the caloric value they provide, has much more value in creating an energy deficit or contributing to an energy deficit than your slice of bacon, than your 14 almonds, than your bite and a half of sweet potato. So if someone poses that question, says it slows down the rate of lipolysis, well, so does every single other caloric value source of food that you consume. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully it makes sense. That's answering the question don't ketones slow down the rate of lipolysis? The answer is yes, but so does everything else that you eat. Hope that helps.